Reptilian Nation Expo. We can't wait to show you guys everything we found. This time we're going to do it a little bit different though. Instead of talking to the vendors, let's talk to average Joes, just like the rest of us. So we're going to start here at Fuzzy Legs Remarkable Balls with my favorite snake I've seen on the show, a Brazilian rainbow. Hey guys, I have to tell you what he was doing with his light right there. He was actually using the light to show us the incredible brazilliance of the Brazilian rainbow boa. Now, this is a thing that's actually within all rainbow boas, that if you shine the right kind of light on them, they have very high iridescence and they're going to glow rainbow colors. Almost like oil on water, but much, much prettier than pollution. I can't wait to get the chance to show you guys this again, and I'm so sorry it didn't work this time. Now look at that glitter on it. I love the iridescence. You guys know I'm a huge sucker for any kind of rainbow boa. Brazilians are by far my favorite. These guys are remarkable. And you have a breeding pair of candy stripes, right? Correct. Yes. Oh, look at her belly. It's so orange. I didn't get to see that part last time. Oh, look at this. The camera never does it justice. Oh, they're so beautiful. So this is the male, right? Female. This is the female. And she'll get a bit bigger than this, but not by much. Correct. Yes. All right, so what is your favorite aspect of the Brazilian rainbow boa? Definitely the iridescence, because uh, I'm a photographer, and to me they're just such a stunning snake. Uh, I also like their habitats because they like high humidity, so you can do a lot of water features, swimming holes, things like that. Nice. Um, generally they're good eaters. Generally they're not friendly, but mine happen to be. Uh, as long as you move slow and careful. Alright, so That's I have male. not seen the male. He is gorgeous. I love the darker aspect he has to him. That is amazing. A very contrasty. It's a neat gene. Not a lot of people work with. Dave Colling is the one who kind of discovered it and works with it. Um, but that's where I got my guys from. Uh, the white stands out a lot. The green has scales, which is interesting. Yeah. Oh, these are gorgeous snakes. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. We're here with Sydney, and she is going to show us her absolute favorite snake, which is a banana ball python. All right, let's go find it. Okay, it's this way. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I think there's some bananas over here. <laughs> no, no bananas yet. Here's a banana. Oh, there's and a banana. Cheese. Close enough. Yes, banana and cheese. So this is your favorite snake. Why is this one your favorite snake? Uh, the bananas always get the little dots on them, like yeah. how a banana, an actual banana is when it's perfectly ready to eat. <laughs> It is my fact, favorite. And I actually have one. That's awesome. How old is it? It is a year old. I got it a year ago from an expo like this. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us your favorite snake. You're welcome. Guys, we're here with Jacob and he's got his favorite ball python. What's your favorite ball python here? Oh Right here, the pied? Ooh. I got gotta get a good camera angle. Why is the pied your favorite snake? Uh, probably just because the color scheme is pretty good. The color scheme? Yeah. I love the color scheme of the pied ball python. Mm -hmm. This guy's a pretty big tank. Are there any other ball pythons you love around here? Mm. Yeah, this guy's Yeah, ooh, I am a sucker for all kinds of retics. A motley head albino. This guy is beautiful. And we can thank wild things and exotic pets. Thanks, Jacob, for showing us your favorite snake. No All right, next we have Corbin. Now, what's your favorite snake at the expo? Uh, this hog nose expo. Oh, that's awesome. Is it just a wild type hog? Uh, yeah, a western hog. That's awesome. Is this your first pet snake? Yeah. Uh, no, I've had a corn snake in the past. Oh, sweet. Corns are really yeah, good, too. Yeah. So, what is your favorite thing about a hog nose? Um, I like how adorable they are. Yeah, the upturn snout. Yeah. That's my favorite too. So, Thank you so much. Of course. This is Sailor and Claire, and they just got a new pet, which happens to be their favorite animal at the expo. What did you get? Um, I got an Arizona blonde tarantula, and Ooh. then they included this bonus spider. Oh, that's a bonus. So the Arizona blonde is in there. Yeah. Oh, she's so right big. Yeah. So you gotta feed it? Um, they just barely. Yeah. Better. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you guys. Sure. <laughs> his name? Jethro. Jethro? And what? Boehner. Boehner? That's so cool. So Boehner, you had a favorite snake here. What was it? Oh, you like pied ball pythons? So why is a pied your favorite? Why do you like this guy? I like the patterns. You do? 
Yeah? What about you? Yeah. What's your favorite? I just like the colors. You like the pied too? Oh, yeah. yeah, the pieds are so pretty. Do you guys like the high white pied or the low white pied? High whites? Oh, that's so cool. Thank you guys. Alrighty. Oh, look at how cute it is. And what was your name? Treasure. Treasure. That is a beautiful name. So this is your favorite tortoise you found. Why is it your favorite? What kind is it? It is a Syrian Greek tortoise. Syrian Greek tortoise. That's amazing. And what's your favorite thing about it? It's small. You like that it's so small? Yeah. How big do they get? Let's see. They get 500 pounds. That thing's going to be huge. <laughs> well, thank you so much for showing me your favorite tortoise. That's so cute. This is, let's see, Emily and Chris. Oh, Rome. Rome. Ah. Alright, and they have all of their favorite snakes right here at Wild Things Exotics. Alright, Chris, what was your favorite? My favorite is probably this type of white snake right here. Oh! I think it looks really cool. Yeah, are you a big fan of boas or just of hypos? Pretty standard hypos. Hypos, nice. Alright, and Bo, what was your favorite? Well, I like the. Uh, uh, I, uh, snake and I just like the white and the, like how it just like, it's white and then it just goes to, um, the cool brown design and then it's all white and mother and I just think it's cool. Yeah, I love the pies and you said you like the high white pies. Alright, now Emily, yours was right next to it, right? Yeah, I like it because it has those like white spots on it. You love the white spots on the high? Have you ever heard of a paraplegic python? Oh, you'll have to look them up. They're very, very pretty. They're like that, but even more. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, this time we've got Millie, and you said your favorite is a tortoise or a turtle, right? Yeah, and it's my twin's favorite too. All right, let's go find it. Show me where it is. Let's go. Which one is it? Oh, super close. Oh, you like cherry head tortoises? These guys are so pretty. What is your favorite thing about a cherry headed tortoise? Um, that it has a red because it makes them look like they eat cherries a lot. Yeah, I love that. Now, do you think cherry is in the fruit or cherry is in a cherry tomato? Um, either both. Both? All right. Thank you. And you wanted to show us your favorite too, right? Yeah. All right. What do you got? Snakes. Snakes? What's your favorite? Where are we going? All right. Let's go. Ooh, the lesser enchi. I love these guys. So, why are these ones your favorite? I like how calm they are. They're not scared to move around. Yeah, you like the calmness of a ball python? And what jumps to you about their pattern? I like how it looks like how there's like spots. Yeah. So this is the lesser enchi, and it's your favorite. So let's see, you like how calm they are, and remind me why you like the pattern so much. I like how they have like spots. We've been looking at Yeah, I love the spots too. Oh, he's so nice. Hello, little one. Oh, I spooked him. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you so much. We're with Beckett, Connolly, and Weston, and I didn't catch your name. Katrina. And Katrina. That's, that's my name. That's awesome. Alrighty, so these guys are going to show us their favorite animal at the expo. Are you ready? Let's go! Where is it? His is the chameleon up here. So. Alright, let's go, let's go! Alright, so this is your favorite chameleon. I feel like right up here. Why is he your favorite? Like there's, I just think they're not as spacey. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah? Do you have a favorite kind of chameleon? No? Ah, well, you'll have to look into it and see which one's your favorite. But this guy is rather pretty. Check him out from Chameleon House. 
Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, who's next? Who's got the next reptile? The tortoise. So these are your favorite, a star tortoise. I love these guys. Now why is a star tortoise your favorite? I don't know. <laughs> you just like the pattern? Yeah. They're beautiful. And these guys come to us from Dave's jungle. Look at this little guy. I love how teeny tiny cute they are. Alrighty, we got one more. Alright, let's go find your favorite. Thank you. Oh, to the ball pythons. Alright. I like this one. They're really pretty. Yeah, you like all these snakes? Alright, if you could pick one, any one, which one would it be? Oh, I am a sucker for retakes too. So this one is a tiger and a heuristic retake. And what grabs your eye about How this guy? How are you guys doing? Yeah. Do you guys have any questions or like yeah. anything specific? We are just taking a look at our favorite animals here. Absolutely. Again, we came back to wild things. This is like the third time we've come here. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys thank have you guys. Any on anybody too? Yeah. Just let us know. Alrighty, thank you. Yeah. So this is Braxton, and I hear you just got your first pet. Yeah. Yes. You want to show it to me? No, no. Oh, All the way over there. Let's go. <laughs> The first one is always so much fun. I know, right? He's been asking for years, so he surprised him today. He wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. She has it back with me. And Samantha is awesome. I read. <laughs> All right, let's see your very first pet gecko. That's so cool. And what kind of gecko is it? Uh, it's a Harley Quinn morph. A Harley Quinn? I heard those would get super pretty when they're adults. Yeah. Yeah? Are you super excited for it? Yeah, I love it. Yes? Are you super pumped? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, duh. Alrighty. Well, we got this guy from High Desert Geckos. These guys do awesome. Thank you guys so much. And we can't wait to see how big this guy gets because he is pretty. Look at that. Thank you guys so much for joining us at the 2023 Reptilian Nation Fall Show. It was so much fun. There were excellent vendors. The people there were great. I love the community you find here all the time. One of our favorite vendors was Fuzzy Legs. He's an old time friend of ours and we love what he brings to the table. We also went to Dave's Jungle and Exotic Pets over and over and over again. Those were definitely a crowd favorite this time and we were so happy to have them there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we actually only bring home this adorable little snake. My little boy loves it, but that's all we needed this time other than our isopods and a few other spare supplies. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it with your friends, and comment down below what you guys want to see next. We're starting that lineup for the things to do in the fall here, and we can't wait to see your ideas on what video we should do next.